Hello YouTubers, my name is Marcus from DM Photography and in my last video I told you that I was planning a trip to Kiev with only my Leica M6 and a couple of film rolls, color and black and white, and that I would do a video on me developing the color film, something that I have not done before. Now the problem is I was missing a couple of things, one of them being a temperature control system and I decided to go for the Cinestill TCS 1000 and the system just arrived this week so I didn't even have a chance yet to unpack it and I want to include this in the video. Now full disclosure I bought the system with my own money, the video is not sponsored by Cinestill in any way, it's just that I wanted to have this video, I saw uh, people on the internet using this, so I wanted to give it a shot. Now, in order for me not to leave you without any video this week, I thought I would do another video on my Leica MD, and the idea behind today's video is to talk about those things that you need to pay extra attention to when you um, f take photos with a Leica MD, like a camera that has no back screen. So there are a couple of um, extra things that you need to know uh, when you take photos with this camera and this is what this video is about. I want to start with two obvious ones. So one of the first being uh, make sure that your batteries are full before you go out and um, shoot because you just have this one little thing here in the viewfinder that shows you how much battery you have since you have no display. Uh, I guess this is an obvious one and a, basically a beginner mistake if you go out of your house with an empty battery. The second thing, um, which is also quite obvious but a big problem with this camera is if you have an SD card in here that is full and you leave your house and you realize while trying to shoot photos that your SD card is full, you're kind of like stuck with a Leica MD. So this camera has no buttons in the back or anything. It's like an analog camera basically. And um, you cannot even format the SD card. So if your card is full, even if you have transferred all your photos already to your PC and you could delete the SD card, you have no way of doing it. So your only way of getting um, yourself ready to shoot pictures is if you ask a fellow photographer that you maybe meet on the street, if um, he or she can help you by formatting your SD card for you and hand it back to you so that you can start off with a fresh SD card. So this is one little thing that you really need to pay attention to when you go out shooting with a Leica MD. So again, you have no way of deleting your SD card. The third thing that I want to talk about is um, the exposure compensation of the camera. So yes, this camera has exposure compensation. So you have this little button here and if you press it and you turn this wheel here in the back, it does exposure compensation. So basically this EV plus or minus, so it can go um, either like plus to get the image brighter um, or minus to make the image darker. Now, I personally do not really use this function and I think it's kind of like useless, at least for me, or if you know what it would be good for in a Leica MD, just leave it in the comments below because you have no screen or EVF um, where you can see the results of your exposure compensation. So you anyway have to measure your light correctly with this camera and I talked about that in a different video. Now, the problem here is if you take photos and you use the exposure compensation, so you set it to EV plus one, so you wanna overexpose or uh, minus one or minus two or any step in between, and you forget that you um, set the EV to a specific value and you just continue shooting, um, you cannot see anywhere that your EV is off now. Right, so that your exposure compensation is there unless you press this button before every shot and check um, if the EV is set like to zero. So this is something that if you decide for whatever reason that you want to use exposure compensation on a Leica MD, please do not forget to put it back to zero once you're done with your um, motive that you take photos of where you think you need the exposure compensation in the camera. So this is something that uh, can be really annoying if you just um, 
set it to let's say minus two and then you walk the whole day through the city with an EV set to minus two just to realize at home when you take a look at the pictures the first time um, that you had the EV configured and you forgot to put it back to zero. And now the next point is actually quite an important one and this has happened to me actually and I want to make you aware of this. So once on a trip one of my lenses fell actually down on the ground maybe half a meter or so it was even in its original Leica um, basically bag with all the foam and everything protecting it and I didn't really think um, that anything could have happened and everything looked of course very well um, now uh, I then changed the lens to this lens and I started to take photos and uh, when I came to the hotel in the evening and I took a look at the photos, I saw that all the photos basically were out of focus. So these lenses are quite stable, but maybe if they get hit somehow weirdly or I don't know what actually happened, the mechanics or the, the, the things that were going on in here um, somehow got uh, de-adjusted somehow. And since I did not have a display, again, this comes down to you have no display to check your images. If you just continue um, taking photos um, and your lens is off, you will not find it out. So if you know that your lens is working fine, you can happily take photos the whole day. Nothing will happen. Everything is good. If you hit your lens against anything in any way, just assume with this camera that from now on, until you can check if the lens is fine, um, you might have problems with the focus. Because in the viewfinder, for me, everything looked good. So the ring worked, everything worked fine. It was just that something was off and all the images were basically crap. I couldn't use them. So pay extra attention. If anything happens to your lens, you hit it during midday. If you have a second lens, just take it off, use that other lens. Um, that lens might be faulty. So maybe I was completely unlucky, I, I don't know. But I just want to make you aware with this camera, since you have no way of checking your photos, um, pay attention if you hit the lens against anything. And now the last point is maybe something, I don't know if it's funny, tragic or... Um, so last year I was on a trip in Baku in Azerbaijan uh, when a Formula One race was there. And a couple of days before I already arrived and I went out just to take photos, street photos. And I was just happily taking photos in parks of buildings and so on and so forth. And in one park suddenly um, a police officer came and said, uh, I cannot take pictures here because um, this is close to an embassy. And um, well, I said sorry, and I, I told him that I didn't take any pictures here, and he kind of like believed me, and I was like, okay, let me actually now walk, I don't know, like uh, 10 minutes in one direction, not take any photos, I don't want to get into any trouble. And so after 10 minutes of walking, I was like, okay, maybe I'm safe now, maybe I'm out of the uh, embassy zone here in Baku, and I started to take photos again. So I was walking and walking and walking, and at some point a taxi driver on the street actually stopped me and pointed to like behind me and said like stop um, there's a police officer running behind you or after you and I was like okay so I turn around and yes indeed there was a police officer actually coming saying I cannot take pictures here because this is close to the US Embassy I was like, okay, same game again, whatever. I'll tell him I didn't take any photos of an embassy. I wasn't aware that there is an embassy. I'm sorry, and I wanted to move on. But this police officer was not so like relaxed as the other one, and he wouldn't let me um, go, so he said that I need to show him the photos. Now, this camera, like I said, it has no display, and I wasn't able to show him the photos. And he, I mean, now in the 21st century, these Mm, police officers are kind of like used to that people take photos with their cell phones or with digital cameras that have a back screen so you can show the photos delete them if they want to and just just move on now I was a little bit in a problem here because he insisted on wanting to see the pictures I couldn't show them to him I tried to explain it his English was also not so good then he called his um, superior officer he couldn't speak English as well so 
there was a big going back and forth so i just want to make you aware that you might end up in these kinds of situations where someone asks you maybe that you show the photos that you took of them or of something and you just can't do it so just be aware of, aware of that when you take photos with a leica md um, it's like with an analog camera they don't understand the world anymore they're not used to um, someone not being able to show them a photo so I think this is kind of like the list of things that I wanted to talk through and wanted to make you aware of. So this is not a video about how to shoot photos with um, a Leica MD. I have another video on that. If you want, you can check it out. I'll leave a link up here. And um, yeah, so this is it for today's video. If you like this video and you found these tips helpful or you haven't heard of some of these, um, just... Uh, let let me know in the comments below also if i forgot anything or you got into any situation that i didn't get into yet that you want to make people aware of also please let a comment down or let us know in the comments down below also if you like the video please consider hitting the like button below and if you want to see more of this kind of um, content then also please subscribe to this channel and um, i myself will now get started on film developing um, trying out this new kit and uh, try to record it as good as possible and see how far I can take you on this journey um, for my next video to show you um, yeah, about the film development and uh, the results of the photos with the Leica M6 in Kiev. So until then, um, I will show you again a couple of more photos that I took and um, I'll see you next time.